Good morning and welcome to Grace Church Cathedral. This is morning prayer for Thursday, January the 5th. It's the last day of Christmas. Behold, the dwelling of God is with mankind. He will dwell with them and they shall be his people. <clears throat> and God himself will be with them and be their God. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. <clears throat> Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as husbands. We are from the Lord and we come to repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us. That we may delight in your goodness and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your prayer. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. To us a child is born. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with the song. Know this, he himself is God. He himself has made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. And his faithfulness endures from age to age. Alleluia. To us a child is born. Come, and let, let us, us adore him. Alleluia. Psalms are appointed for this morning are Psalms 2 and 110, beginning on page 586. Why are the nations in an uproar? Why do the peoples mutter empty threats? Why do the kings of the earth rise up in revolt and princes plot together against the Lord, against his anointing? Let us break their yoke, they say. Let us cast off their bonds from us. He whose throne is in heaven is laughing. The Lord has them in derision. Then he speaks to them in his wrath, and his rage fills them with terror. I myself have set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. Let me announce the decree of the Lord. He said to me, you are my son. This day have I begotten you. After me, and I will give you the nations for your inheritance, and the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall crush them with an iron rod, and shatter them like a piece of pottery. And now, you kings, be wise. Be warned, you rulers of the earth. Submit to the Lord with fear, and with trembling bow before him. Lest he be angry, and you perish, for his wrath is quickly kindled. Happy are they all. Who take refuge in him. Lord, Lord is said to my Lord, sit at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. The Lord will send the scepter of your power out of Zion, saying, Rule over your enemies round about you. The princely state has been yours from the day of your birth, and the beauty of holiness have I begotten you, like dew from the womb of the morning. The Lord has sworn, and he will not recant. You are a priest forever, after the order of Melchizedek. The Lord, who is at your right hand, will smite kings in the day of his wrath. He will rule over the nations. He will heap high the corpses. He will smash heads over the wide earth. He will drink from the brook beside the road. Therefore, he will lift high his head. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the disciples, 
I am the vine, and my Father is the vine dresser. Every branch of mine that bears no fruit, he takes away, and every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes, that it may bear more fruit. You are already made clean by the word which I have spoken to you. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit by itself, unless it abides in the vine, neither can you, unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me, and I in him, <coughs> he it is that bears much fruit. For apart from me you can do nothing. If a man does not abide in me, he is cast forth as a branch and withers, and the branches are gathered, thrown into the fire and burned. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, ask whatever you will, and it shall be done for you. By this my Father is glorified, that you bear much fruit, and so prove to be my disciples. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments, and abide in his love. These things I have spoken to you, that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be full. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends, if you do what I command you. No longer do I call you servants, for the servant does not know what the master is doing. But I have called you friends, for that I have heard for all that I have heard from my Father, I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you, and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit, and that your fruit should abide, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give it to you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Canticle 18, on page 93. Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God. For you created everything that is, and by your will that were created and have their being. And yours by right, the lamb that was slain. For with your blood you have redeemed for God. From every kingly language, people, and nation, a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so to him who sits upon the throne, and to Christ the Lamb. Be worshipped and praised, dominion and splendor, forever and forevermore. I believe in God, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. For we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope. And we shall never hope in vain. O God, who wonderfully created and yet more wonderfully restored the dignity of human nature. Grant that we may share the divine life of him who humbled himself to share our humanity. Your son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever 
and ever. Amen. Lord, we pray for your church that through our words and our deeds, the truth of your mystery would be known in all the world. Loving God, you reveal yourself to us in the child in the manger, the teacher in the temple and the man on the cross. Open our eyes that we may know more of your truth, that we may experience more of your love, and that we may share more of your joy in the world. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord, we pray for all whose lives have been devastated by acts of war and terrorism, for those who live on with the mental and physical scars of past conflicts, and for communities ravaged by the effects of violence. May they know your healing and new hope for the future. O God, the comfort of those in pain and the strength of those who are weak. Hold in your safekeeping this day all who have suffered through war and terrorism, the wounded, the sick, the homeless, the oppressed, the anxious, and the bereaved. Turn the hearts of those who make for violence, that they may learn instead the paths of peace. For the sake of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. This time I invite your own intercessions and thanksgivings. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our prayer. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we are unworthy servants to be humble with us. For all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made, we bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ. For the means of grace and for the hope of glory, and we pray, give, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit, the honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen.